There are two major displays in modern televisions, OLED and LED LCD. Mini LED is the most recent LED LCD technology iteration. Mini LED seeks to address its parent technology shortcomings in various ways. But how does it measure up to OLED? Stay tuned as we compare the Mini LED versus OLED and help you decide which one to choose. Brightness OLED TVs aren't significantly brighter than LCD TVs. Because of how they are constructed, they don't require a lot of light to function. It's a stark difference in every way. The dynamic contrast between light and dark pixels is particularly visible due to OLED's ability to detect accurate black levels. Current OLED panels have a full panel sustained brightness of around 200 to 250 nits, peaking at around 700 nits. On the other hand, the best LCD TV with backlit can deliver full panel brightness of 800 to 900 nits, and Mini LED is an improved version that bridges this gap. According to the observations collected so far, Mini LED is brighter than OLED. However, remember that brightness is not the only aspect to consider for the best screen visibility. In terms of brightness, Mini LED clearly and significantly prevails. With color accuracy comes better pixelation, which is what the Mini LED TVs have done with their pixel illumination. Stay tuned to find out more on the illumination of pixels in Mini LED and OLED TVs. Color Accuracy OLEDs were the color kings, but since the introduction of backlight technology in LEDs, they have improved in color accuracy, color brightness, and volume. They have begun the war between Mini LED versus OLED. If color accuracy is important to you, both Mini LED and OLED are viable options. As far as gaming is concerned, OLED and QLED are at odds due to OLED's higher contrast ratio, which gives it an advantage in HDR. On the other hand, Many LEDs are superior because they provide deeply saturated colors even when the brightness is at its peak. Therefore, picking a side will distort the results regarding color accuracy. Is that accurate? Oh, it's accurate! Per pixel lighting. OLED's main strength is the reverse of many LEDs brightness. Due to its self-emitting nature, OLEDs may provide a deep inky black level since each pixel can be individually turned on or off. Per pixel lighting is the foundation of OLED technology. Each pixel of an OLED emits its lights, which is a well-known fact, and contrast and brightness are strongly impacted by this. The Mini LED was designed to improve the illumination of the back of a room. Many LEDs with increased lighting zones, a significant advancement, but short of OLED's contrast and resolution, still fall short of OLED. In comparison experiments, OLED per pixel illumination is always superior to many LED backlighting zones. This is also given OLED an advantage in the OLED versus QLED comparison. Aside from their increased brightness, many LED TVs have proven to be more durable. Modern mini LED displays frequently assert that they compete with OLED. For example, Apple's Liquid Retina Display XDR has a maximum contrast ratio of 1 million to 1. In reality, Mini LED still lags behind OLED in contrast performance because it cannot light pixels individually. This will be true until Micro LED, which can light pixels individually, becomes widely available. Why hasn't Peru adopted LED lights yet? Because they are proud of their Incan descent. Precise, fine-grade lighting for small objects is not attainable with existing Mini LEDs. HDR performance will suffer only if we focus on illumination, which will affect the HDR performance of the Mini LED. Please consider subscribing to our channel for the most comprehensive comparisons and reviews. Turn on post notifications while you're at it, and you'll be the first to know when we post. Site Positions Continuing the Mini LED versus the OLED comparison, Mini LEDs are improved versions of older LCD panels with advanced backlighting. A Mini LED's light is settled into liquid crystal cells, so you look at the screen straight on, but color loss occurs as soon as you go off axis. In the fast motion video, the sharpness of the display varies greatly, and there will be apparent fuzz. LCD technology has built-in tissues with these two issues. Since liquid crystals do not filter light evenly, the image appears differently when viewed from different angles, and they take a few milliseconds to respond to a charge. Blurring or ghosting occurs in rapidly changing images. Unlike tiny LEDs, OLEDs use self-emissive technology. 
there are no liquid crystals to manipulate. Whenever a pixel is powered, it produces luminescence. The light, which creates a comparatively consistent pattern and can turn on and off very quickly, effectively resolves LCD's viewing angle and motion performance limits. You don't have to worry about what angle you're watching from. OLED technology outperforms LCD technology in the mini LED versus the OLED fight regarding viewing angles. Reliability and Durability Mini LEDs are fundamentally the same as OLEDs, except for the number of LEDs contained within them. OLED panels are made up of organic LEDs in red, green, and blue. Blue LEDs are the least durable and degrade faster than the others, causing the color balance to be disrupted. However, new sets of OLED screens are improved versions, and while this issue is uncommon, it can occur. Nonetheless, OLED screens are less durable and reliable than many LED screens. Price To date, digital devices with OLED panels have been the most expensive and have remained premium products across markets. As the OLED market expands and becomes more accessible to buyers, OLEDs are becoming less expensive while maintaining their premium prices. But the fact remains that Mini LED is the less expensive option in the Mini LED versus OLED comparison.